warden for the Norfolk Wildlife Trust at Cly. And my house is right on the front. I, suppose, I would say my house is probably the, the closest house to the incident. Uh, I was in the garden, my wife and I were just commenting on how this, this helicopter was, was flying very low. And I was in the garden watching it, I was watching it through my binoculars, but you couldn't see very much, all you could see was lights flashing. And I weren't aware that there was actually a problem, because we do get a lot of low flying uh, in this area. And then the first I was aware, I saw some, some lights, and I thought there was a major incident. So I went down the beach, met someone down here and said that they think there's a problem with a helicopter. We do get a lot of low flying area. It looked as though it was almost sitting on the beach from, from what I could make out of it. I didn't hear any bang, I didn't see any flames, I didn't see anything that made me aware that there was a crash. And they were flying all night uh, around and about. And uh, I, I mean, I, I didn't hear any explosion, I didn't hear anything at all. There, there weren't no flames, there weren't anything like that. This is probably the finest nature reserve in the country. Uh, we've just had an incident a month ago where we had a major flood here. We're just getting over that. And then this happened. I, I, I just can't believe, you know, that we've had two major incidents like this. You're not going to get emergency services through the marsh. I mean, I have a job. It's wet out there. I have a job to get through it with my Land Rover. And we have a small tractor. Uh, you can't get anything heavy there at all. The only way they can get to it is along the beach. Shock, really. You know, we, first of all, we thought it was ditched, and then the, the news came through that there could be casualties. And then the news came through that, you know, the, the loss of life, which is 